Uh, now we have to drop it in and determine we're going to put a bottom plate in there that this will rest on that will cover the lug holes and then we'll cut a hole in the center of that plate and weld our piping on and the rest of it will be screw pipe with our piece coming out that will attach to whatever your air source is going to be and then we'll put our other crossbar in so that pipe can rest on top of that. We're going to use this piece of plate that we cut out for our hole as the base of this thing. supply store. Uh, nothing special about them. Black iron? Mm -hmm. Black iron pipe. You don't ever want to use galvanized on anything that's going to have fire attached to it. Galvanized puts off some really noxious fumes when it's heated up. A lot of zinc. Stuff that's really bad for you to breathe. So just a couple more things you need to do to call this thing finished. Uh, we need to cut a, a piece of plate with some slots in it to go down over this to uh, keep your coal from falling down in and also to break up the air coming through. And we need to uh, make us a, a tong rack go on one side so you got a place to hang your tools. Reach it all the way to the top this time. Thumbs up. student forges in the shop here is, is a brake drum forge. We've used it for nine years now and it's I haven't replaced the drum in it yet. 
Uh, I've, I use one of these for my portable setup, so it's an inexpensive way to get one of the, the most essential pieces of equipment for your shop. And it's if you go to buy it, a commercial fire pot can be quite expensive. I mean, four or five hundred dollars just for the fire pot itself, not to mention the table and everything that goes with it. Uh, and in the future we'll do a video on how to build a side draft hood to go with this, uh, which is a, a real effective uh, tool for taking the smoke out of your shop. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, hope you've learned something, and uh, like I say, use your imagination, sky's the limit, just get out there and build what you need.